Hi everyone, welcome back uh, to uh, Crafted by Norma. This is going to be part two of my uh, envelope uh, junk journal. Uh, because I've um, made a couple of uh, giveaways, we're going to do a swap. It's a, a group that I follow on Facebook, We're going to do a January swap and the theme for it is bird song. I thought I would do the journal um, using the same theme. So all I've gone and done is I've collected some papers, I've gone and cut them down by um, five across by seven in length, that's inches, and cut them all down to size. The front and the back ones I've just gone and trimmed with my uh, corner trimmer just so I know that they're going to be front and back. So, hope you uh, enjoy it. So the first off I've gone and done, because the theme's going to be uh, bird song, I've just got this one that just says, uh, those who wish to sing always find a song. And I thought that would be ideal for the uh, front cover. So all we're going to do is just glue that uh, down. So just a thin around the edges. And again, you can glue this down in whatever medium that uh, that you want. I prefer to use a good quality uh, PVA glue that I get from our local art shop uh, in um, in Oxton on the Wirral. And I find that uh, the glue is one of the the better PVA glues. Uh, it's reasonably priced. It's excellent quality, and you can water it down if you want to. So that's the, the front page, just make sure that that's, uh, that's down nice and firm. And then for the back page, this one is one of the papers from La Blanche. Um, I love them, they've got a, uh, I suppose you call it, um, oh, I don't know, um, just patterned uh, writing on the, uh, on the outside. So I quite like that one, so I'm going to use that one round the uh, the back. So again, just going along the edges. Try to pick up as much of the edges as I can. And glue that down as well. Now on part one, I did show you how I've gone and put extra support on the outside of the uh, envelopes for when I want to stitch in uh, some notelets, as you can see there. And I've used a medical tape, because uh, once it goes onto the papers, you can't really see it. So I've already enhanced um, the inside to the pages of between one and two and also the last two pages I've enhanced it there ready for it to get um, notebooks um, sewn into it so what I've also done on the pages that open out to the three pages that opened out I've already put some papers in ready to glue down because I wanted them all to match I wanted them all to be um, blue, so I've done those uh, ready to uh, to go in out of the pages that I've uh, uh, I've collected, and the papers that I've used is just a collection that I've had out of um, my stash. Really, uh, I collected uh, quite a few papers from a friend who used to craft, and has now given it up to do uh, other things. And I've bought some of her papers off her that uh, she was no longer going to use. I've also picked up papers from the likes of car boots, uh, attic sales, that type of thing. Um, so I try, if I can, to reuse um and not buy new. Although I do occasionally treat myself like the LeBlanche papers because I couldn't resist them. I thought they were lovely. I do like LeBlanche's pro products. Um, Belgian company. Um, again, quite reasonably priced. It's just the postage is, uh, or can be a bit of a, a killer. So some of the papers I've got no idea where my friend 
originally bought them from it's just that she had an absolute huge stack of them and wanted to invest in a new venture so uh, I bought uh, quite a few uh, offer some of them are single sheets and some of them have been uh, doubled sheets and I've been really pleased with uh, the selection that she she got for me Of course, you can add whatever papers that uh, you like uh, to your books. Uh, I've just trimmed these down to five by seven to fit into the envelopes, which are five and a quarter and seven and a quarter envelopes, obviously to take cards, the uh, seven by five cards. So again, that's total preference for yourselves. Go. go back to pages one and two and again you can just put in these whatever uh, that you want I've kept all the trimmings back because that's going to help us in the next part when we're going to be doing the tucks uh, the tags and the uh, other enhancements ready to put your uh, embellishments in so the theme, as I said, is a bird song. So I've rooted through all my stash to look for anything that's got a bird on it or music on it to uh, to use. And uh, hopefully it'll be uh, quite a success when it's uh, all finished. I'll put that one there, I think, because that matches that colour. So I try to match, if I can, on each page as I go along. There we go. And then when I've done these couple of pages, it's a bit boring for you to just watch me glue. I'm sure uh, most of you will know how to glue. And as I say, you can use whatever you want to stick your pages down. I prefer glue than uh, double-sided sticky tape because I think if it's going to have these books they're going to last or you're going to want them to last for a long time and I don't really trust the double-sided tapes for long-term projects like this I would much rather use a good heavy quality uh, PVA glue okay so we crash on for there actually so I'll leave that one there use up oh, we'll use this purpley one so you can use paper or card it's entirely up to yourself I've used uh, in the I keep going picking up the wrong blue what am I like um, I've used both card and glue because I've just collected uh, so as I say some bits from my stash I'm hoping that the light is okay because today's quite a, a miserable overcast day uh, here on the Wirral. Although weather-wise, we're usually very, very. We'll make sure that's the right way up. Um, we're usually very uh, lucky in the way of uh, weather. We don't get much snow. We don't get. Well, we do get rain. We don't get gallons of it, and we very rarely have any uh, floods. I mean, I've lived in here now for 20 years and we've not had uh, anything at all, although I have got a small brook that uh, runs along the uh, back of the house. I've uh, never had uh, a problem. I just say, some of these, uh, these are quite bright, uh, I, and I don't do bright. In fact, I very rarely do colour, if I'm honest. I tend to go for more the grungy look. Although I know that there's lots of... Uh, People out there aren't afraid of colour, but I quite like the uh, the dark and grungy um, look. I'm not into bright colours at all, which is uh, a shame. Even though when I do my workshops, I um, I do love it when some of the ladies um, or gents, because I have the occasional gentleman that come along. 
And they're not frightened of colour at all. They just go for it. And I love it. Absolutely love it. They come up with some amazing work where I'm quite... Uh, what's the word I'd want? Conservative uh, regarding um, my use of colour. And I don't know why that is, really. Although I'm saying that, though, I've, I'm mostly also dressing... Uh, in quite grungy looking clothes blacks and greys and the likes although I do like the occasional uh, orange or uh, autumnal colours as well that's bent over a bit but uh, when it comes to my work I do find uh, doing colours challenging we're going quite well along here now Only a few more to do go for this sort of lime greeny colour. There we go. I've waited to do the video after the postman has, uh, has been because I did try the other day and uh, the postman came and then I panicked. Couldn't remember where the, the pause button was on the camera. By the time I got myself sorted, uh, he'd gone. I'd missed him. Which meant I had to have a trip down to the post office to get the parcel I was expecting. Now you'll notice that when you're pushing the envelopes, the card or the paper onto the envelopes, there's sometimes an air bubble within the envelopes themselves. Uh, and that can be challenging. Uh, but we're going to alleviate that. I oh, quite, quite like that, that one, I think. Uh, we're going to alleviate that in a minute when we're going to make some holes um, for the hidden pockets within the, the journal itself. There we go. So you're roughly trying to get them as lined up as you can. So we've now got all the pages hopefully covered. I haven't missed any out. I quite like those when it's open into the three that you do have a sort of colour match. Uh, and again, when that one's open, that they sort of colour match. Uh, I do quite like that. Okay, so I've got a couple of papers left over. I'll put those away for again. And now we're going to make some of the holes for the secret pockets. So I've got a one and a quarter inch um, hole punch. Uh, you can use whatever size that you like. You don't have to do this, but I quite um, like having some little extra pockets. So you just basically try and find the centre. If you're not happy and you don't want to eyeball it, obviously you can measure it. So once you've gone and cut out your little circle there, what I tend to do is get a pair of scissors. Now, don't go from the very edge in. I sort of miss a tiny bit and then just slice a little tiny bit off on the same here. Not to the very end. Might be better with a small pair of scissors, really. And then you've got a little opening got a little opening that's running along there but you don't as I say you don't want to go to the very very end let's just trim that a little bit more okay so that's that one and then your pockets then have got no air bubbles in them whatsoever uh, and that's your first one now when you come to the inside ones you've got to have a rough guess if you're going to put a belly strip across there, you don't want to have your opening there for your secret pocket um, because obviously that's where your belly flap is. So you can make it either below or, um, or uh, centre. Or again, you can have them all at the top. It's entirely up to you. But on this one, I think I'll have a corner 
tuck here. So I'm going to put my hole approximately just up here, just a little bit. And again, I'm going to trim that down with my scissors. And a little bit just there. And again, not to the very, very edge, because I don't want that to rip. So we've got another little pocket there. Okay. And then again, obviously you've got the same thing scenario there. On this one, I'm going to actually do it in the middle because uh, I'm hoping to have a strip that's going to be coming down that way on this one so it doesn't really matter. So again, you can measure it. So that's going to be, should be seven inches. Where am I? Should be seven inches there. So you want it at three and a half. So we want it about there to be halfway. And again, on mine, I've just going to put a little tiny mark here so I know where the halfway is, where the centre is of my uh, punch. I broke my thumb uh, 18 months ago and I have real problems now using uh, punches and scissors long period. And it can, can be quite painful. I never realised the first time I've ever broke anything. Um, I fractured uh, my arm ages ago when I was a child. Um, but uh, Touchwood don't have any problems with that. But this thumb has been a real uh, challenge for me. Okay, so we've got that one. And then on this one, we've actually got, um, because this is the extended uh, envelope, um, here you've got the uh, the extra bit there. We should have here a space. What did I do with it? Or have I glued it? I might want to glued it. So I'm going to want to have want to have a top pocket here. So again, I'm just going to eyeball it. Oops. I'm just going to want to eyeball it. Just roughly. Oh, sorry if my head gets in the way. There we go. And I'm going to do a centre one there, I think. Just do a quick measurement. So three and a half inches up there. This is the back one and I'm not going to bother with the back one I'm just going to leave that one uh, as it is um, so there you've got all your bits and pieces ready for the uh, the next stage okay thanks very much look forward to you at the next one